let's look at range input types of HTML5. It's much like number input type but with a small interface change that is instead of a text field or a field to enter the data with the range input type we get a slider sliding which we choose the number a range of numbers that is browsers which support range input type know that the field is used for entering a number within a given range so this is the slider sliding which we can choose the number we can set the range by using min and max attributes in this case a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 10 still you you can't see what number you are selecting so just for the sake of user i'm giving 2 to 10 as the range to enter i'll take a text input field here just to show the number which we selected by sliding the slider that is by by using by making use of range input type I'm taking IDs for these two input types that is get and put. With the help of JavaScript, I'll write a function called fetch. I'll fetch the user entered that is using that slider, whatever the user selects. I'll fetch that data and display inside the text input field. So get the element by ID. The ID of the slider that is the range input type is get. I'll get its value dot its value property now I'll select the text input field which has an ID of put and assign its value to get that is the value selected by the user using range type input data on change I'll call this fetch method that's it let's have a look at it in the browser so the range is 2 to 10 so the maximum value we could select is 10 and the minimum value we could select is 2 we could even assign the step value here I'll give 2 here to step through 2 digits so 8, 10, 4, etc. Let me show you fractional digits too. I'll increment or decrement by 0 0.2. So this is how we use a range input type of HTML5. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com, technotip.org and to our YouTube channel. And please don't forget to like this video on YouTube.